from Oakland, California. Please give a warm round of applause for Jeff Central. I have a student named Jason. Jason is white sneakers and black socks that he pulls up to his knees. He is jean shorts and a Hawaiian shirt he cannot for the life of him fucking button straight. He is multiple decks of Magic the Gathering collectible trading cards and a hair to gel ratio that is still in its experimental phase. <laughs> the rest of the class is made up of seventh grade celebrity impersonators. Perfect examples to the power of product placement decked out in rhinestone jeans and velour sweatsuits that cost more than I am paid to teach their poetry workshop. <laughs> Jason is easily the most interesting one out of 40, and if I could, I would kick the rest of them out to go watch Eliminate in the library. <laughs> no one likes to admit it, but white trash does not grow on trees. <laughs> you can sometimes look at a 12-year-old and see the obnoxious idiot they could one day become. They aren't bad in that grow up and sell crack to preschoolers kind of way. More of the type that are gonna drive a Hummer with a Save the Planet bumper sticker. <laughs> I don't blame them completely. A poet named Jeff McDaniel says that some people are doomed because their parents had boring sex on the night they were conceived. But Jason is different. A ball of nervous ticks and endless Monty Python quotes that tell me, mom and dad got freaky. <laughs> so he's standing in front of this class about to read the poem, clutching his hands like it's God's autograph. He says, eh, eh. Ode to my bathroom. I am a roll of toilet paper, and my life is shitty. <laughs> now to the kids at Union Middle School, shit is not just second banana to fuck. It's its own atomic bomb of profanity that sends electromagnetic spasms of laughter rippling through the room. The 12-year-old J-Lo in the front row laughs so hard she snorts, <laughs> like a mouse stuck in a vacuum. He continues. I was born in a factory and raised in a plastic bag. Now I hang next to the magazines and plunger in the constant fear of ass. <laughs> all, all the way, all the way in the back, Eminem's biggest fan flaps his arm like a palm leaf welcoming home comic Jesus. Last week, he spent the whole period flicking bits of eraser and calling Jason a homo until he was about to cry. Now Jason is smiling so wide he can barely speak to finish the poem. But today, he says, I am relieved because I can smell the three bean chili the family I live with is cooking. And I know the end is near. <laughs> he sits down to a standing ovation. I shake my head in an aw shucks pendulum. Later he asked me if I was pissed. I said, Jason, don't you ever let anybody tell you any different. Poetry exists to give the socially awkward a way to be finally applauded by their peers. <laughs>